Hey guys, so today I am going to be creating some My Little Pony character cakes. I made these cakes before I did the research, which was a mistake because my favorite character ended up being Applejack, and I didn't turn her into a cake, and it, it hurts my heart a little bit. And this is actually a collaboration with Carla from Cake Dash Studios. She lives in LA too, and we're like homies. We're gonna have Korean barbecue tomorrow. I love mixing fondant pieces with icing. I think it looks really pretty, so I like these cakes. Let's get started. Now the first thing I did was bake my cakes. Now for rarity, I just baked a white cake, plain white cake, and I just leveled it off took off the top and then turned it into two equal layers. Then I placed my rarity printout on top and using my paring knife I just cut out the shape. Pulled away the excess and revealed the rarity shape. Now for Pinkie Pie I did the exact same thing. Leveled off the top, turned it into two layers and then used my paring knife to cut out the Pinkie Pie shape. And I'm actually using a strawberry cake. I, I really like strawberry cakes. This is a box cake though so it's it's all right. I pulled away the excess revealing my Pinkie Pie shape and then moved on to the last but definitely not least Rainbow Dash. Now I'm repeating that exact same process with a blue velvet cake. Now what is blue velvet? I don't really know. Some places blue velvet tastes like blueberries. Other places it just tastes like moist blue cake. So it could be anything really. This one just tastes like blue cake. Um, it was okay. <laughs> And now once I finished cutting all three, I moved on to the next step. Now usually when I create these cakes, I just use plain vanilla buttercream on the inside. But with these, I decided to fill them with more colors of the character. So the first thing I did was add a protective rim of buttercream. Just to make sure that none of the colored buttercream appeared on the outside of the cake. And then I added some purple and pink stripes. And I know that this is wrong, you guys, because in the show, Rarity is purple and white, and her eyes are like a navy blue. But this toy is a lie, because she's purple and she has pink. And I saw this toy before I saw the show. False advertising! After I finished, I added my second layer of cake, and then I gave the entire thing a crumb coat. I crumb coated the top as well as the sides of the cake. That's just a style I like. You could add more buttercream if you want. After I finished that, I moved on to my next cake. Pinkie Pie. So I removed the top layer of cake, gave Pinkie Pie that protective layer of buttercream, and then I started to add some stripes. White, a vibrant pink, and then a, a little bit more subtle pink. Now I decided to make the inside of this kind of white just because there's a lot of pink on the outside of this cake. And also, is a secret, I didn't make that much pink icing, I don't know why. And I covered it with my second layer, gave the top and the sides a crumb coat, and moved on to Rainbow Dash. I'm actually excited about this one because it's a rainbow, I'm making a rainbow on the inside of the cake. First I had that protective layer of buttercream and then I just started to pipe stripes that created a rainbow. Dude, I could watch this forever. Making rainbow stuff is so cool. Once I finished crumb coating all of my cakes, I placed them into the fridge for about an hour to set up. And while it was chilling, I was watching Fuller House on Netflix. The third season just came out and nobody else in my household likes that show. And I don't even really think it's funny, but for whatever reason, I love it. Now while those were in the fridge, I was also creating some of their fondant features. Um, I created three printouts of all of their faces and I just started to cut them out with a pair of scissors. Starting with the right eye. This is kind of very unpleasant to do because their eyelash game is so strong. And having to cut around all of the eyelashes that was not fun. Now to create all of these features, I'm using fondant colors that correspond to the eye colors and the facial features of that character. So to start, I'm rolling out some black fondant, placing my character eye on top, and then cutting out the shape with an X-Acto knife. Pulled away the excess, placed it onto a plate, and repeated this process with all of their features. Now I do it this way because I don't think it's that much fun to watch me cut up a whole bunch of fondant features. 
I'd rather watch this and watch me like very carefully try to cut everything out very slowly, very, very slowly. And besides, I think it's really cool to watch it forward and then backward. Flip it and reverse it. Now, a lot of these features were layered, so there was some assembly still required. To create the eyes, I used about five different layers. Just glued them all together with a little bit of vodka and then just placed them on carefully to make sure that I got all of the details right. Even just making sure that the mouth had a tongue sometimes. Once I finished creating all of their fondant features, I was ready to put these babies together. First I added one more layer of buttercream to the top and I'm actually using a very white buttercream. The way that I achieved this was by using white food coloring. It's a thing you guys, it's expensive but it's a thing. Then very carefully I attached all of Rarity's features. And yes, some of the eyelashes broke off but that's fine, nobody will notice, just put them in their place. Now let's move on to Pinkie Pie. First, I added another layer of pink buttercream to create the shade of her face. Now, you can always cover this cake in fondant or you can even just smoothen out the buttercream more, but I really like this unfinished texture. It's my thing. I like it. I'ma do my thing. And then, very carefully, I'm adding on all of her fondant features. I love the way her blue eyes complement her pink pony fur. Voila! And now, we can move on to Rainbow Dash. So on goes one more layer of buttercream and this is baby blue. Another reason I like buttercream texture is because it looks like food. When I cover cakes with fondant, it looks so unnatural. Can you eat it? I don't know. Jury's still out on that. But this actually looks like food. You get it. You understand that it's buttercream and you get it. And voila, my three My Little Pony character cakes. So I'm curious about a couple things. Which one of these cakes is your favorite? I'm gonna say a Rainbow Dash because I love the rainbow on the inside of this cake. Also, are you excited for the My Little Pony movie? I'm... I'm okay. I don't wanna lie, but I'm curious about what Sia is gonna do in the movie. Last question, have you seen Fuller House? Did you like it? Was it too cheesy for you? It was like... Extra, it's like the best nachos I've ever had. Now, if you like this video, you might want to check out my other two My Little Pony videos. And make sure you head over to Carla's channel at Cake Bash Studios and check out her My Little Pony cupcakes. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification button. I'm, I think it's on this side. Is it by the subscribe button? The subscribe button is down there, right? Unless the camera's flipped. Because it could be here also. But it's definitely not up here anymore. I don't know why I'm waving my arms up here. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace!